Let's talk a moment about mining all the gold out of your disappointments because disappointments are part of life. There is no perfect system out there, I like to say. There is no system or philosophy on the planet that will remove all the disappointments, the pain, and the heartache from your life. That's just the way life works. We have to get used to it and learn how to manage it. So in 1 Timothy 1.15, Paul had disappointments. He called himself the chief of all sinners. And of course, he was living the life best he understood. He was doing the things he thought he ought to do. And then he had that little Damascus Road incident and he realized he'd been on the wrong path. Major disappointment. And Paul works his way through it and learns from it and keeps pressing on the upward way. That is the way to manage a disappointment. James 3, 2, he says, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. I mean, this... Is just what we do. I don't mean to make it sound like it's okay. It's not okay to strike out. It's just something that kind of happens. I'll let other people debate all of that. But the fact is, Romans 3.23 says we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Now, what we have to do is take those situations and in a essence do an autopsy on them and say, what went wrong? How did I mess this up so bad? How did I not see it coming? Why didn't I look ahead? Why didn't I listen to somebody who tried to warn me about this? We need to back it up and look at all of those things. And then next time a similar situation comes up, if we learn from those things, then we'll not be as likely to repeat the same mistake and we'll move forward better. It basically boils down to this I can mentality. I really, really believe if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. It's kind of a mindset, and a lot of folks get it, and then they want to play victim and all these other pointless games, but that's a video for another time. So mind, mind your disappointments. Get in there. you got to go through a lot of dirt. I get it. You move tons of dirt to get to the gold, but there's gold there. So there's something to think about for the day. Put your comments below if you'd like, and as always, have a great day.